Welcome everyone to Horror with Heidi. I'm Heidi and this is Silver Creek Falls Chapter 2. So this is the second installment of the Silver Creek Falls series. Now where we left off last time, um, it was Mark and Sarah. Mark and Sarah on the Massachusetts State Trooper and the Scotland Yard uh, agent? Officer? I'm not sure. They came to this town, Silver Creek Falls, to investigate a mysterious series of crimes, disappearances, possibly murders. Uh, they were working on finding connections between all the crimes. Um, they looked into the missing sheriff's notes to see his take on the crimes. Um, and then just as things were starting to get good, the FBI swooped in and took over jurisdiction, took the case and everything from Mark and Sarah. Um, uh, one of them had contemplated just going back home and forgetting about it. Um, the other one, I believe Mark convinced her to stay, that they were going to keep looking into the case even though they had no longer had legal right to. Um, and then something strange happened. Mark's uh, possibly partner, colleague from the Scotland Yard came in and they discussed the case saying it was similar to one they were already familiar with, which was new. And then that's where... Chapter 1 stopped, so now we get to find out more about what's going on with Mark in this case, how he already knows about it. So we're still in Norfolk. They're at the police station right now. <clears throat> Man, sure feels different without Phil here. The chief, call the chief called me to come to talk to him. I should I should go straight to him before doing anything. So we're gonna go straight. Oh, Silver Creek Falls 2, Chapter 2, sorry, Silver Creek Falls Chapter 2 features more puzzles and riddles than the previous chapter. Relevant clues and evidence will always be stored in your inventory. Interesting. Make sure you always pay attention to details mentioned in conversations and interrogations, as they will be help you in finding leads in the investigation. Also save frequently on different same slots. Oh, I'm not good at doing that. <laughs> that way you can load the game from different points in the case to get stuck. Uh-oh. Okay, so, uh, so it kind of feels like, I don't know how long this one is going to be, I get the feeling that chapter one was made the way it was as to kind of be like a demo and then, um, kind of segue you straight into the rest of the game because it was very short. It was only about an hour. Hey Chief, how you doing? You heard about Phil, right? Yeah, I got a call from the High Commissioner this morning. It's such a shame. Phil had to go back to England. Oh, his name was Phil? I thought his name was Mark. Why did I think his name was Mark? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Phil was the Scotland Yard agent. Yes. Um, yeah, that sucks. Scotland Yard needed him back. Yeah, it sucks. Scotland Yard needed him back for something. I dropped him off at the airport last Friday. He wanted me to visit DC before going home. I told him he'd have a better time visiting Boston, but his flight to London was connecting through DC anyway. Yeah, I know you two are working well together. Don't worry, you'll have a new partner next week. So you want to talk to me? Is it about my request from DC? You know when Phil... You know when... Sorry. You know when you and Phil came to me last week requesting an extension on the case in North Carolina, I thought you guys were out of your minds. But this old cop got it wrong. Apparently DC listened. There's an FBI agent here to see you. Oh. Are you serious? Even though I'd ignore, uh, even though they'd ignore our request. Uh, apparently, your James Bond had connections in D.C. or something. He goes there for one weekend, and the week after comes an FBI agent. I don't know if Phil had something to do with it, but I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, enough chatting. He's in the operations room upstairs. Don't keep our guests waiting. Aha. Uh -huh. So, I don't know, I assume we're going to be seeing Phil again. Like, I don't think he's just gone from the game. Hi, my name is Sarah Fitzgerald. I take it you're the FBI agent from DC? Yes, my name is Special Agent Valdez. It's a pleasure to see you again. Again? Again? I'm terribly sorry, Agent Valdez, but I don't remember meeting you before. Oh, really? I had you... I guess you had other things on your mind that day. I was the agent standing in front of Lee Davis's house in Silver Creek Falls. Oh, we did meet him, I remember that. Oh yeah, now I remember. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for our behavior for the behavior of my boss on that day. 
If it's any comfort to you, Special Agent West is like that to everyone. Was? Special Agent West was assigned two nights ago to Silver Creek Falls Hotel. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Spe Special Agent West was assassinated two nights ago at the Silver Creek Falls Hotel. Uh-oh. Uh, he was staying at the same room you stayed in when you were there. Oh. What? Here's the file on his murder. Hmm, no forced entry, two gunshots to the chest, one to the head. I'm sorry for your loss, Agent. No one heard anything that night. I was in the room next to him and I heard nothing. They used a silencer. Did you check for surveillance footage from the hotel security? Yeah, a man dressed in a suit wearing a ski mask walked in at 4.32 a.m. Oh, because that's not inconspicuous. Uh, walked past concierge and up the stairs. He opened the door seamlessly as if he had a key, then went in. He left two minutes later, walked out the door at 4.35 a.m. Concierge, remember seeing him? No, she says it was... She says she was in the toilet at the time. Seems the assassin waited for her to go. Uh, the... At least he had the courtesy not to get her involved. The stills from the video footage are back at... Are at the back of the file. I see. When we entered Agent West's room at... When we ate, when we entered Agent West's room at the next morning, his phone, laptop, and suitcase were all gone. How about the case files? The four case files... The four case files that took place in Silver Creek Falls were all gone. His other case files were intact, though. Ooh! The, the assassin knew what he was looking for. The guy was clearly a professional. He was clean, fast, efficient. Whoever ordered this shooting had money. Assassins are... Assassins that good aren't cheap. I'm sorry, Agent Valdez, but as interesting as this case is, I don't know why you're telling me all this. The reason we're here the reason I'm here talking to you is that we want you back on this case. Huh? Agent West shared a few small details with me, but I suspect the vast majority of what he knew was in those case files. With both him and Deputy Hill dead, and Sheriff Lee Davis missing. You and, expect, you and Inspector Moore are currently the last remaining cops you know about the case. I'm sorry to tell you that Inspector Moore went back to England. Yes, your chief told me. Anyways, I saw your request in my office this morning, so I know you want back in the case. No need to be smug about it. Cool, I'll drive you to your place so you can pick up your bags. I normally keep a change of clothes and some basic necessities in my backpack. That should do, right? You're rolling with the FBI now. Ever since I took this job, I've seen an insane amount of the country. You never know where where a lead will take you. I'd pack a few i I'd pack a few days of clothes if I were you. Okay then, here's my address. You can meet me there in an hour or so. Here's my address. Can you meet me there in an hour or so? Oh, can you meet me there in an hour so I can pack? No problemo. I wanted to grab a pizza before heading out anyway. Thanks. Objective, go home, pack bags before Special Agent Valdez comes to pick you up. Okay. Now we're finding the hotel. I don't know where it is. Sarah Fitzgerald's apartment, Northfolk, Virginia. I've been wearing this jacket for a whole week now. I think I'll switch to that new jacket Phil bought me as a goodbye present. Much better. It was nice of him to get her a goodbye present. Alright, we are... First aid kit, that will be quite useful. First aid kit added to inventory. Let's go check out our computer. No emails, huh? No surprises there. Well, that's sad. Uh, no time for a nap. Oh, I don't want to take a nap. My iPod, in case it's a hard time sleeping on the road. iPod adds backpack. Uh, not all hotels have cable. I guess I better bring a book in case I get bored. Good idea. My old uniform when I was in Massachusetts. From when I was a Massachusetts State Trooper. Seems like only yesterday when I was sworn in. I thought she was a state trooper right now. Oh, she's a detective now. Oh, that's weird. I thought she was a trooper, still. Just grab it from her clothes. It might be in the field for a few days. 
Cool. Um, so that's in her bedroom. Every basic toiletries kid don't need anything else in the bathroom. Cool. No time for TV. Got to pack. You can run the TV while you're packing. You can run the TV when you're doing anything. Stove is off. That's always good to check. Oh, I'll bring a snack for the trip. Apple, apple added. Is that everything? I think so. There's nowhere else to go in the house, is there? Oh, there he is. Good. Agent? You got everything you need? I think this should have me covered. We're going to be on a road for a few days, so don't be shy about bringing stuff. God knows I travel with half my clothes in my car. The life of an FBI agent, eh? I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. So, are we using my car or yours? We could use mine. My gas allowance is quite generous. Oh, lucky you. Silver Creek Falls isn't that far away. Just two and a half hours from Norfolk. Oh. We're not going to Silver Creek Falls. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're off. We're off to Philly. That's where we, our first lead is. What are we doing up in Philly? Remember the car crash off Route 17 in Silver Creek Falls? I do. Yeah. We traced the receipts and we found and link them to the credit card of a Philadelphia businessman called Connor Friedman. What? Really? Yep, his blood type matched the blood samples we found on this site, too. Now check this out. His wife reported him missing two days ago. Two days ago? Hasn't he been gone for like a week? She told me it's pretty normal for him to disappear for a few days straight, but two weeks with no word from him is pretty unusual. You spoke to her yourself? Yeah, once Agent West and I ID'd the recipients and the blood from the car, we put our word to Philadelphia Police Department to look for him. They came by his house and asked her when she saw him last and where he was. To their surprise, she tells them that he has she hasn't seen him in two weeks. Then she asks about what they then she asks what they know about his whereabouts and and they make her call me. I arranged for us to go meet I, I arranged for us to go see her this afternoon to ask some questions and check out the, his office. This afternoon? It's already 2 p.m. That's a five-hour drive from here to Philly. You are right there. I figured we'd be okay just to appear in the evening, but best we reschedule to see her in the morning. Geez, here I thought you fancy FBI agents would run a tight ship. That's That was Special Agent West. He was super serious and told me off for being late all the time. I, on the other hand, I, on the other hand, like to take things easy. So yeah, let's drive over to Philly, check out our, check ourselves into a hotel, grab some Philly cheesesteaks, and get a good night's rest. Sounds amazing. Wow, this is, this is all a big holiday to you, isn't it? Ha, oh, very funny. I wasn't kidding. Don't underestimate the importance of sleep. You need a good night's rest to be your most efficient. Very true. On that subject, do you mind driving us to Philly? I drove over from D.C. this morning, and I'm super tired. No problem. You remind me of someone. Oh, who? My old partner, Phil. You met him in Silver Creek Falls, the English guy. He seems pretty cool. I'll take that as a compliment. Cool, let's get going. Hop in the car. Rental company will pick it up for me, they said. Oh, wait, we're not taking hers. We are taking Agent... I already forgot his name. We're taking the agent's car. The Beaumont, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Alright, so I'm going to pause it here. Um, this is a good start to the case. So, yeah, I kind of figured she would be put back on the case somehow. Either she'd do it herself or they'd invite her. So, that's awesome. We have a new partner now, FBI agent. So, this will get cool. Um, so, yeah, when we come back next time, we'll get our full night's sleep and then go talk to the waif. So until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for being my player too. Till next time, don't get scared without me.